August. Sarah Palin's eldest daughter appeared at the Republican National Convention. There she was with her baby's father, Levi Johnson. They've, of course, since split up. Now, recently, Johnson has begun speaking out a lot, and now Bristol Palin is as well, this time in support of abstinence. Erica Hill takes us on Twitter. There's no debating what can happen when teens have sex. Just ask Bristol Palin and Levi Johnston. Their son, Trip, is now four months old. And that has this 18-year-old mom taking on yet another role. Having a baby is a huge responsibility, and I think that teens should just wait to have sex. Bristol Palin today at an event in honor of National Teen Pregnancy Awareness Day. She also did a round of morning talk shows, saying her comments earlier this year that abstinence was unrealistic were taken out of context. Um, regardless of what I did personally, I just... I just think that abstinence is the only way that you can effectively 100% foolproof way to prevent pregnancy. Her ex-fiance has a different take on sex ed, telling CBS today... Abstinence is a great idea, but I don't think just uh, telling young kids uh, you can't have sex, is just it's not going to work. It's not real, realistic. Beyond the sound bites, there is a real divide on what American kids should learn about sex and how that education may affect their sexual activity. Teen pregnancies rose slightly in 2006, the most recent year we have numbers for. More than 435,000 girls that year, ages 15 to 19, gave birth. Over the past decade, abstinence-only sex ed programs have received over a billion dollars in government funding. and Many schools adapted their curriculum to tap into that money. But now, 23 states and the District of Columbia are rejecting the funds, claiming the abstinence-only approach simply doesn't work. Teaching kids and giving them the tools and, and telling them about both abstinence and comprehensive sex education delays the onset of sexual activity. But advocates of abstinence-only programs say comprehensive sex ed programs can actually lead to sexual activity. Programs that are uh, teaching so-called safe sex do have the potential um, to discourage young people from waiting until marriage. Studies show conflicting results. The one thing both sides agree on, abstinence is the only sure way to avoid pregnancy. Girls now, they think that having a baby is like having an accessory on their hip, and they don't realize that it's such a huge responsibility and it's such just hard work. Bristol Palin now on a mission to get that message out and convince abstinence is the only smart option. Is, is that a, I mean, is she being paid for this now? No. In, in fact, the, the organization, the Candies Foundation, uh, tells CNN that she was compensated for her time uh, and her expenses were covered, but right now she's not a paid spokesperson. It's kind of a fine line there. Mm -hmm. And that while nothing is apparently scheduled at this point, they would hope that she will do some more um, personal appearances with Hopefully. them in the future. All right. We'll continue to follow, Erica. Thanks very much. Up next.